Chemistry is called the central science, and the reason it's the central science is because if you think of a graph with a node in the middle, it's related to biology, it's related to physics, it's related to mathematics, and so, um, and it's also a practical business. Not only is it intellectually interesting, but it is a practical business of making materials and understanding how biological molecules work, making drugs, for example. So it's kind of central to everything. The part of chemistry that excites me the most is that it has no boundary. You could do whatever you want with it, like starting from a living cell to the vast universe. Innovation and excitement about the discoveries that we can make to solve the world's problems like tuberculosis or new materials to build chairs that are not going to pollute the environment, so recyclable, sustainable plastics. Uh, being able to solve those big problems, I would hope is interesting for investment from the federal government or from individuals and from foundations. Because those are important problems for society, they're not just important problems for chemists. I mean, I think some people forget why you become a scientist. You become a scientist because you're curious about how things work. And it's that curiosity that drives scientific discovery. And when, when you talk to you know, the federal government and funding agencies about how to support science, of course they want applications. We want a new drug tomorrow. We want a new drug for COVID tomorrow. But this, this is applications of basic science, that, uh, of science that was discovered many years ago and started because somebody was interested in how something worked. So this interdisciplinary research builds on the legacy of Paul Outerber, who was our Nobel Prize winner in physiology or medicine in 2003 for discoveries that led to the invention of magnetic resonance imaging. And so think about, you know, the discovery of the structure of DNA. And now today we're doing gene editing to try and treat disease. Always you wake up in the morning and you want to know more, right? And knowledge is power.